Hi, it's Neil Sean here on your entertainment news. It's not often we get to say we've got a legend on the show, but we have. We have Mr. Chris Riddle. Of course, he's the son of the wonderful, the brilliant、uh, Mr. Nelson Riddle. Remember, though, Chris, if you miss it, you missed out. So don't miss Chris today on your entertainment news. I'm I'm th- I'm talking about my hero, right? I'm that my father's name would appear on a record, and this became. So a legend as well, because how many times have people seen arranged and conducted by Nelson Riddle and his orchestra? The first time this ever happened, I believe, was a tune that they recorded in August of 1951, and I think it's most aptly titled "Unforgettable." What could be more unforgettable than unforgettable? Unforgettable. I mean, Judy Garland、uh, was doing a television show,、uh, a spectacular, they called it、uh, in those days, because it was l- coast to coast live broadcast from Los Angeles, and it was Frank Sinatra was hosting it. It was about 1956 or 57. You know what we mean? Let there be bluebirds. They had a rap party after the show. Judy. Frank, everybody came out to the house. My mother threw a big party, big rap party, and everything else. Judy had sprained her ankle、uh, doing this television show. She was doing a dance with somebody, and she sprained her ankle. They'd stopped off at Santa Monica Hospital on the way to Malibu to our house, and they had put a cast on her ankle. And somebody dreamed up the bright idea of putting, I think, red food coloring in the in the plaster of Paris so it would be pink. Because Judy and Love had just come out, it had to be about 1956. Judy and Love, the album she did with my father, that kind of brought her back from retirement,、uh, and it was pink. So they gave her a pink cast. I'm helping my mother clean up the sitting room the next day from the debris from the party, right? And I asked my mother, I said, "What's this on the chair here? It doesn't seem to want to come off." So- something, words to that effect. <laughs> I said, she said, well, we're not taking it off. And I said, why is that? And she said, because that's Judy's cast. Part of her cast was still wet, and it and it, and it fused itself to the chair, the chair leg.、Uh, I didn't know Judy that well. She was sort of sequestered always.、Um, God, I remember there was a photo of my father and Judy, a famous one, and she's sitting on his lap, and it was a publicity photo for Capital. My mother really took umbrage with that. I remember that. That really, <laughs> that really stoked the fires. But、uh, a good Catholic mother. You she was a little. She was a little tiny,、uh, little tiny girl. Judy Wood. I remember that because she seemed to be more like children than adult because she was very small of stature and of limb. She was very fragilely built. I like to play my father's primarily. I like to play my father's arrangements for Frank Sinatra. With a good, a really good, talented, enthusiastic singer,、uh, whose ego is、uh, put on the back burner、uh, in favor of the material, and and that's hard to find, but you but when you do find it, it's a, it's a it's something to be burnished. It's it's a gem. One, two, 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 three, four. <laughs> 